Yes, I have set my desktop background to the logo of Transformers 4 because now the updates are coming in even more and I am really hyping this movie up. What's up guys, it's Autobot Mike 18 here. Guys, you know me, you know how big a Transformers fan I am and the updates are coming in like crazy. We're getting some crazy new updates regarding Transformers 4. It's that time, they're gonna start filming and now we're getting all the updates. So guys, yes, I had to show you that logo. Yes, I set it to the Transformers 4 logo. That's my desk, uh, my laptop's uh, background. My desktop background. So, uh, guys, I have a lot of updates for you in this video. I'm sorry I have been lacking. I've been slacking off with the Transformers 4 updates. Basically, guys, we really haven't, uh, until a few days ago, we haven't been getting too many huge, huge updates, except for a few casting uh, revelations. Uh, we learned that a few other actors were going to be joining the cast. Uh, none of them were too, too huge. So that's why I didn't make a video about them. We had Kesley Grammer join joining the cast as one of the main villains. I think TJ Miller joined the cast and a few Chinese actors also joined the cast because they will be filming in China for Transformers 4. So just quickly mentioned those. Now on to the few updates that, uh, the few big ones that we've been getting in the last few days. Uh, guys, I am on michaelbay.com today actually because the images for these uh, updates are, I have images, yes I have some really uh, clear uh, HD pictures that I really want you guys to see in the best uh, way to see them. Uh, that's why I'm on MichaelBay.com. I also will leave links to all the articles for these updates and all the pages on MichaelBay.com uh, on TFW 2005, which I also recommend you go on because that's another great website for Transformers 4 uh, news and updates. So, uh, all right, guys. Um, Let's get to it. First off, the first minor, first uh, news update that I'm going to quickly mention is uh, this little article right here. Look at that nice shot right there of the uh, Monument Valley Navajo Tribal Park. Uh, well, that is the area where Transformers 4 has begun filming. Take a look right there, guys. Yes, principal photography uh, for Transformers 4 has officially begun in the Monument Valley Navajo Tribal Park. Yes, they're filming there. I believe they're also filming in uh, Detroit, Chicago. I know they're going in China, and I think there was one other place I can't remember. But yes, guys, as, a few, as of a few days ago, Transformers 4 has officially begun filming. Uh, so that's great. They're doing principal photography right now, and the during the whole month of June, they're going to start filming the movie. So this summer, expect even more news updates from me. All right, guys. So the first um, image, I should say, that was revealed uh, during this uh, principal photography phase uh, was uh, we, we got a few images over the last few days of some of the new looking vehicles that are going to be featured in the movie. And this is pretty huge because these vehicles are the uh, the, the vehicle modes for the Transformers that are going to be in the movie. So that's why uh, this is a huge update because we're finally going to get to see what their vehicle molds look like. Uh, some of them, a uh, few of them that have been released look very nice. Some of them I actually am not a huge fan of. So let's go to my second article right here on michaelbay.com. And here is the first image of the first vehicle that has been revealed. Um, I believe this was uploaded on the 28th, I think, uh, which is a few days ago, guys. Uh, but anyway... This uh, car, very nice looking car if you ask me. I really like how this looks. This is a C7 Corvette Stingray, uh, 2014 C7 uh, Corvette Stingray. And um, I think it looks uh, like a very nice car. It was confirmed that this is an Autobot. This is going to be an Autobot in the movie. We do not know who, though. I think it w there was some rumors, but I'm not going to include those rumors in the video. Uh, I don't know who exactly this uh, car, uh, what Autobot this is. Uh, there was speculation that it could be Sideswipe, now green, which I highly doubt, uh, because it's a Corvette Stingray, and Sideswipe has been a Corvette Stingray in the previous movies. But I doubt it's going to be sideswipe because it's green um it's going to be another Autobot, I'm sure. We just don't know who. So uh, I think that looks very nice. I, I really like how that car looks. Uh, anyway, guys, we also, on uh, that same day, we got another image of another aut new Autobot that is going to be in the movie, the vehicle mode for that Autobot. And uh, here it is right here. There you have it. Uh, it is a Bugatti Grand Sport VTs. Uh, which is apparently worth more than 2.4 million dollars. Holy crap! That's a that's an expensive car. 
Uh, it'll take me the rest of my life to afford a car like that. I don't even think I could ever afford a car like that in my entire life. Uh, but look at how nice that car looks. I have no clue what Autobot that could be. Um, if I, I wouldn't even try to guess what Autobot would be from you know the, the old cartoon because I haven't watched the old cartoon. So I have no clue. But that is a nice looking car along with the Corvette. And then we actually got an even huger image the, the following day of the main Autobot leader, his new vehicle mode. And uh, I think we got it, uh, yep, the next day. Here it is, guys. Here's Optimus Prime's new looking vehicle mode. Let me scroll down. There it is, guys. Optimus Prime's new vehicle mode has been re revealed. And I think this is the hugest update of all, really, in this whole video, probably, because Optimus Prime, that's Optimus Prime's new vehicle mode. And that's that's pretty big. Yes, you can see Optimus Prime looks a lot different. Yes, they definitely, it's not the same uh, Peterbilt truck that they had from the first three movies. They definitely redesigned. Michael Bay said they were going to redesign the robots, and he was not lying. They did redesign the robots. So that's Optimus Prime's new look. And it says right here on MichaelBay.com, the completely upgraded custom-built Optimus Prime from Western Star, a subsidiary of Delmer Trucks North America. So there you have it, guys. Again, I'm sorry if you can't read that. Yeah, I know it's kind of small. But I will leave links to all of this down below so you can click on it and look at yourself. And look at the, the image itself. Because look at that image. That is a nice-looking image, if you ask me. Very clear, very sharp through what I'm looking at. Um... So yeah, guys, thoughts on this. I'm not, I, I gave my thoughts on the other two. I thought they looked like very nice, cool-looking car, really expensive cars. My thoughts on how Optimus looks as compared to the first three movies. I actually like the older version, the older vehicle better, uh, in my opinion. I, I really uh, like that one a lot better. I was used to that one for three movies. I mean, I like this one. This looks very cool. It still is definitely Optimus Prime. I mean, obviously it is. You can still tell that that's Optimus, but, you know, it looks a little different um there are a lot of big differences i think this one is kind of shorter i think the smokestacks are gone replaced with uh, those and um I, I like how this looks i just like the older version better it kind of looks like the optimus prime vehicle mode from transformers prime which i like i like that one but you know that's transformers prime i want this i want this is transformers the movie series so yeah, so you could tell there are some similarities, but overall, I think it looks nice. Uh, I gotta get used to it. That's the thing for me. I gotta get used to it. I gotta watch it in the trailers when the trailers come out, and then I'll get used to it eventually. But it does look very nice. I just love the older version better. What do you guys think? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you guys to leave all your thoughts down below. And the um, we also have uh, another image, guys. That's right, of another huge character. Moving on from Optimus. Yes, that is right. Bumblebees. Vehicle mode, the new design has also been revealed, uh, I think, uh, a few days after Optimus, actually. And here it is, guys. Um, I gotta talk about this one for a second. There is Bumblebee's new vehicle mode. There was speculation. Uh, this car was shown in a few other images, and uh, there was speculation is it Bumblebee or not, and it was revealed by Michael Bay himself that this is Bumblebee. Um, now this this type of car is a vintage 1967 Camaro SS. Um, now while I do think that looks very nice, there's a description right there. Uh, that that's a very nice looking car. What do I think of how Bumblebee looks in the movie? I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I do not I do not like Bumblebee's new look at all. I t frankly to be honest, guys, I actually hate it. I really really do not like Bumblebee's new new vehicle mode at all. First off, that does not even look like Bumblebee. I know I don't know if Bumblebee had looked like this in the cartoon. Um I just I cannot get used to this. I know I'm not gonna get used to this one at all. Maybe I won't mind him in vehicle mode, but I, I just it, it's not Bumblebee. Bumblebee was a yellow vehicle with the black stripes on the t on the hood and on the, the top and uh, it's just, it's all black on the top now, and I just can't get used to that. I mean, I've seen uh, action figures of Bumblebee like that with uh, black uh, all over and only a few spots of yellow, and uh, I didn't like though. I didn't like how that looked, and I definitely do not like how this looks. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm very curious about this, actually. Um... How do you think Bumblebee looks? I, I don't like it. I, I know a lot of fans 
of uh, you know vintage Camaros like how it looks and they, they like how Bumblebee looks but I to me it's just not Bumblebee um, I'm really not a huge fan of that Optimus looks a hell of a lot better and the other two vehicles look a hell of a lot better as well but uh, not 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 a fan of how Bumblebee maybe he'll he'll change into a different vehicle mode like he did in the first movie he had the older Camaro and then he swapped out with the 2008 Camaro like he did in the first Transformers maybe he'll do that again in this one I'm hoping for that but uh, I'm not a fan of how that looks at all. And uh, finally, guys, I'll get back to all these really quickly. I wanted, I wanted uh, to know uh, your guys' thoughts on all of how all these cars look. Finally, there was another Autobot revealed. And uh, I'm kind of happy about this one, actually, because I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, here it is, guys. Uh, the final image I have to show you on MichaelBay.com is of the new Autobot that is uh, making its first appearance in Transformers 4. And that is Hound. Uh, Hound is going to be in the movie now. I have never heard of Hound before. He was not in the first three movies, obviously. He obviously must have been in the cartoon. Now, I like I've said many times, I've never seen the cartoon, so I don't know what kind of auto... I don't know anything about Hound, really. Uh, but the description is, The always rugged and reliable Hound, one of the family of medium tactical vehicles from Oshkosh Defense. From Oshkosh Defense. So there you have it. Now, uh, in terms of how this looks... Uh, I can't even compare it to the classic cartoon. I've never seen Hound before. Uh, but as an Autobot and as a new addition to the cast, and we know that we know this this uh, Autobot's name now. We know it is Hound. I think it looks pretty nice. I think the vehicle looks nice. Um, it, it, this would have this kind of surprised me though because I never would have pictured an Autobot vehicle to be like this. It looked like it would have posed to be a Decepticon, but uh, I guess that's fine. I think this uh, vehicle mode for Hound looks pretty cool. I don't know what he's supposed to look like uh, compared to the cartoon, but I like how it looks actually. I, I like that. So uh, that's a great new addition if you ask me. And there you have it guys. Those are all the new images from uh, that have been released yeah, during the principal photography for Transformers 4. Now, uh, guys, the articles are here on TFW 2005 as well. There's the one about the two new cars, new Autobots. Here's the uh, one about Optimus right there. Um, my camera is dying. I'm going to try to get through this quickly. Um, here's the one about Bumblebee. I still don't like how Bumblebee looks. And, uh, oh, here's a picture I actually wanted to show you. It's a group shot of uh, the new vehicles. And uh, there's that uh, Corvette, there's Bumblebee, there's Optimus, there's that other car, I forget the name already, and there's Hound. And there's actually a vehicle in the back right there, and there's speculation that that is actually going to be Ratchet. Um, because it was it was um, rumored that there was an emergency response vehicle in the background in that picture. So that could be Ratchet. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to be Ratchet, actually. Uh, probably just with, uh, probably redecoed like Optimus and Bumblebee. Uh, see, there's more photos. Uh, none of the new Ratchet, though, if that is Ratchet. Uh, that's just speculation, though. It, it could be Ratchet. It could be another Autobot. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, there's the art article about Hound. So there you have it, guys. All the new, uh, all the articles, all the new images. So, guys, uh, let me know in the comments what do you think of the new uh, Corvette Stingray, the two new Autobots, and the Bugatti Grand Sport Vitesse. Uh, let me know what you think of Bumblebee, let me know what you think of Optimus, and let me know what you think of Hound. I like Hound and the two new Autobots. Optimus looks decent. Gonna get used to, I gotta get used to the changes though, and Bumblebee just doesn't look like Bumblebee in my opinion. Uh, I'm really not pleased with uh, the, the vehicle they selected for Bumblebee, but... I'm sure I'll feel it more like Bumblebee when we see him in his robot mode, hopefully in the first trail that gets revealed sometime in the next few months. So, uh... There you have it, guys. Uh, I really, again, guys, I want to know your thoughts on all these new images. This is huge news, even though I'm not too pleased with Bumblebee. Uh, this is some really huge news, guys. I want to know your thoughts down below in the comments. Um, and yeah, guys, stay tuned. I know the updates are coming because they're going to they start in a film now, and uh, I think this is great. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, let me know about your thoughts on all the new images of all the new vehicles and all the new vehicle redesigns for some of the characters. Uh, bye, guys.